welcome to the next project. Today, I'm back on the body of the Harley Benton SC Guitar Kit mod project. I'm going to do a few things. I'm plugging the control holes for the um, volume and tone because the new layout will probably be different. And at least if I plug these holes, I better make it different. Uh, so I'll be smoothing that out. Then I'll be smoothing this uh, edge that I put a plug in where the old uh, output jack hole was. So I'll smooth that out. Then I'll be finishing prep work on the top and also on the inside of the top, getting it ready for a veneer on both sides. The reason I'm going to veneer both sides is to keep the top from suffering the same issue that the back cap had. Uh, if you did watch that video, if you didn't, go back and watch it, you'll see what happens. But um, if you did watch that video, you know I had a problem with the, the panel cupping. And I don't want this top, it's already got enough shape to it, I don't need another odd shape added. Uh, and along that lines, I have to come up with a quick solution to build a plug that will go in here to help sandwich the veneer to the inside of the top as I draw a vacuum on it. And also work to help me uh, keep from crushing the top as I draw a vacuum on the bag because I don't want the vacuum to suck in and splinter this whole thing up. Whew, that's a lot to talk about. Let's start the next project. I've got the body to the point where I've got the top smoothed out about as good as I'm going to get it uh, before the veneer goes on. Now it's time to focus on a couple other little steps. One, I'm going to make a little plug that will just uh, temporarily screw in probably from the back side or maybe just I'll double stick tape it in or something just to make a smooth area where the, uh, the heel of the neck will sit in. Um, 
That way when I apply the veneer over the top and draw a vacuum on it, it's not going to crack and crush it down in there. It's going to have a fairly smooth and straight path across the top of the body and on past the, the neck pocket, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take a little piece of wood, actually in this case it's some plywood, and I'll cut it down to fit in there. It's about the right thickness already, so I'll, I'll undersize it just a little bit so it's not tight, it's not going to be wedged in. It's just going to be sitting in there to be a bit of a bridge um, for the veneer to cross. Then onto the back side, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I need to make a plug for this area of the back. <clears throat> and that is uh, to do two things. One, to help sandwich the interior veneer up against the inside of the body. And second, to keep the top from crushing down under vacuum pressure um, when I do put it in the bag to draw a vacuum down to uh, apply the, the veneer. I've thought about a number of different uh, things to use. I'm going to use some scrap plywood to build the bulk of the filler. And I thought about using some spray foam, um, the uh, insulation expanding foam insulation uh, to fill the low spots and then sandwich the wood in there and let it set up and cure. And then I started thinking under vacuum, what's going to happen to that foam? Is the vacuum going to pull all the air out of the foam and collapse the foam basically? Then there'd be a void underneath. I don't know. I don't really want to take time to run that experiment. So I thought about a couple of other things. I thought about um, using some plaster Paris, that uh, white stuff you use maybe in grade school or whatever, mix it with water, pour it in there, and set the wood in on top of the wood filler, uh, and let that set up overnight, and that should do the trick. Uh, another idea was to take some sand, which I do have, and then maybe mix something with it to help it set up and hold its shape a little bit better. Um, could just be something as simple as flour. Mix uh, sand and flour together, pack it in there, get it a little bit damp. The flour, I would think, uh, would help bind the sand together and make a temporary kind of sand cast shape. It might work. I also have some scrap uh, Bondo, a couple small cans of scrap Bondo, auto body filler, that I could use um, to fill in the low spots and then press the wood into it. The nice thing about that, it would set up really quick. I'd be able to pull the the plug out of here probably within a half an hour. Um, so anyway, I have a lot of options. What am I going to do? I don't know yet. Let's find out as we continue this project. I keep trying to come up with other ideas to use to help sandwich that inner veneer to the back side of the top cap. I would mentioned thinking about doing uh, like a casting of uh, plaster Paris or maybe a Bondo kind of uh, filler uh, to sandwich in there when I put the uh, whole thing under vacuum. And uh, I kept thinking, well, there's got to be a simpler way, a better way. And maybe I've been standing on it the whole time. This uh, high density rubber mat that I have at my bench might just be the answer. Anyway, let's give that a try.
I was trying to figure out other ways to, um, yeah, other ways.